Hello there, my name is Mo Hassan and I'm going to show you how to deploy Windows 7 using Microsoft's MDT 2013. First of all, if you do not have MDT installed, you need, you need to install ADK first of all, Assessment um, Toolkit from Microsoft, Assessment and Deployment Toolkit, and also the MDT. Now if you'd like to deploy Windows 7 and 8, Point one, you need to make sure that you download the correct version of ADK and MDT. You can also deploy Windows Server 2008 and 12. Okay, first of all, um, I'm not going to go into too much details about the deployment share, uh, but if you're taking the deployment share on site on a portable hard drive, you will need to make sure that after opening the portable share, go into properties make sure that the network UNC path is correct. The current server address, um, the IP address is 192.168.1.60 um, and that's the deployment share. This is correct but if you uh, close this deployment share and copy all the files onto a portable hard drive, take it um, uh, somewhere else and uh, install um, MDT again and open the same deployment share this information will may not change so you need to manually do that you will also need to check in the rules tab click the bootstrap.ini and make sure that the deploy route is correct this is very important if this IP address is not correct then your uh, workstation will never find the deployment share Okay, just close it off. And uh, one more thing to um, thing to consider, to think about, be careful about, is um, if you're using a virtual machine instead of physical machine, make sure that you create a generation one virtual machine for Windows Seven, because if you create a generation two virtual machine, Windows Seven will definitely fail to launch or run. It will fail to start completely and you will not get any specific reason why okay so let me quickly check if the virtual machine has the ISO file linked to it I'm going to settings and the DVD that's the light touch one light touch P is 64 bit ISO it's all fine I will switch on the machine and tap on the keyboard to boot from CD. You can also use um, WDS because I'll take you to the uh, deployment share. You have got the WIM files, 64, both 64 and 32-bit, uh, to use with WDS for a pixie boot. Okay. I just clicked yes because I have been testing this computer. Um, I have been using exactly the same virtual machine, so it came up with um, with that win uh, with that message saying uh, another operational instruction was found previously. Do you want to continue? Yes, I said yes. I'll just forget about the other one. Okay, now the keyboard layout, United Kingdom. If you want to check your computer has an IP address or not, you could click this exit to command prompt and type in IP config to check if this computer has, a, has an IP address. If not, you can give it a static IP address. But in our case, I know for sure that this computer has an IP address. I will click the run the deployment wizard to install a new operating system. At this stage, you'll be asked to type in the credentials. Uh, now, remember, you can prepare um, or you can include applications to MDT, installing the MDT system on, on standalone PC. It could be a Windows uh, 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1. You do not necessarily need to have Microsoft Windows Server 2008 or 2012. But when it comes to deployment, you need to be within a domain 
environment rather than a standalone PC. Okay, I will type in the credentials. MDT is happy with the credentials. Okay, so now the task sequences we have, we have only two. I'll show you. Task sequences, one is Windows 7, 64-bit, the other one is installed core apps only. Now we're going to install the Windows 7, 64-bit. I'll just choose that one. Click Next. Now at this stage, you can specify a computer name. You can change it to for instance, HMS PC 001. You can also join it to a domain. Uh, the domain admin information uh, will be inserted automatically from the previous stage. I will type in the domain name Matrix 0. Click Next. Um, this is a fresh install, so no previous. Uh, version of Windows was detected. That's why these options are greyed out. If you decide to upgrade or refresh um, a Windows PC, you could actually use this method. You can um, move user data and settings um, onto another shared location and later on when the the deployment is completed it will automatically copy all the files uh, put it, put everything back to where it was. In our case, we'll just click next. Um, Specify whether to restore user data. We do, do not have any. If you had any, all you need to do is just specify the location, the shared location, the USMT data file. Next. This is only a test machine, so I'm not going to change any of this information. Click next. Um, select one or more application to install. I will choose all three. Click Next. Just have a quick look at the details. So you have instructed this computer to compile these. That's the computer name. It will be joined to the domain. That's the admin credentials. Everything is fine. Once you hit Begin, it will start the deployment process and after this stage you will not have to do anything. The computer will install Windows 7 and then Windows um, Microsoft Windows X um, Office 2013 Pro Plus and also install some other applications that you have specified. And once everything is done it will restart automatically. So after this stage there's nothing you'll have to do. It'll take a while, so I'm going to stop the video here. Thank you very much for watching.